In this video, we're gonna talk about creating liquid motion graphics here in After Effects. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel, Sunduck Film. Hope you're doing excellent today. In this video, we're gonna talk about five different ways to use liquid motion graphics in any way, shape, or form that you would like to use. And before we jump in, be sure to smash that like button. It helps us out tremendously. And now I'm gonna hand it over to myself behind a microphone. All right, if you wanna follow along, you download Project Pals for free. In our first technique, we're gonna just talk about this opening liquid transition here. Very simple. We'll dive into other techniques following up. So first thing we wanna do is come here, grab the rectangle tool, and we'll come here to fill. We'll select any color we want. We'll do like a nice dark gray here, and we will draw a rectangle across like this. And what I'm gonna do is hit S on my keyboard for scale, and I'm gonna add a keyframe for this. I'm gonna break the chain here and set the Y size to 0%, and I'm gonna move forward here maybe by a second and a half or so. And I'm going to really increase the scale up here. So we're just gonna get this animation like so. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our shape layer, we'll come here to add, and we're gonna add a wiggle pass to this. We'll open this up. And we'll set our size up to maybe like 215. We'll come here to the detail and we'll set this down to two and we'll set this from corner to smooth. So now we'll get this animation like this. And one thing you might need to do is go to that last scale keyframe there and just scale this to be a little bit larger. And what we can do is select both these keyframes, hit F9 on our keyboard to make them easy ease. Go to your graph editor. What we can do is come here to the first keyframe handle and just kind of drag this out. And one thing I want to do before this ends, I want to add a keyframe for size. Go to our last scale keyframe and set that size down to like zero so it'll stop wiggling. So now we should have something like this. Very cool. All right, in our next technique, we're going to create these lines shooting out here, uh, followed by some liquid effects. So what we're going to do here is grab the pen tool here at the top, make sure fill is set to none, and set stroke to solid color, and we'll use a stroke width of 18. And what we're going to do from the center of our composition we're gonna click a point here and we'll go outside of the comp like so. So you have this line here. What we're gonna do, we'll open up this layer, we'll go to add, and we'll add a quick trim path to this. And what we're gonna do is we'll set the end down to 0%, we'll add a keyframe for end, we'll move forward by a little bit here, maybe a few frames, add a keyframe for start, and move forward by a little bit more. We'll set the end up to 100% and go by a few more frames and set that start up to 100%. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna have this line like that. And maybe I'll stretch out the keyframes to be a little bit further apart. All right, then what I'm gonna do is select all of our keyframes, hit F9 on our keyboard, make them easy ease. I'll come into graph editor and I'll select these points here and we'll drag out the handles on the top and bottom like this. And it'll create a very smooth snapping animation. Nice. All right, I'm gonna go into the stroke here and I'm gonna come here to taper. I'm gonna come here and set the start length up here to maybe 60% and also the end percent to maybe 60% as well. And that's gonna help uh, edit out our line a little bit here. We can also come here to start with, maybe set this up by a little bit and just kind of play these settings. So I'll adjust the start ease and the end ease here uh, by a few percentage. Go ahead and just play around these settings. You don't have to be, you know, there's no science behind it. It just looks good to do something here. And then we'll open up the wave tab and we'll just set this up to like 6%. All right. So now, so far we'll have this line like that. So now we gotta make this look a little bit like liquid. So then what we're gonna do is go to effect, stylize, and we're gonna grab roughen edges. We'll set the border to 15 and the scale to 200. And then we'll set the complexity down to one. And that's gonna give it more of a liquidy look. So just a quick line there. And what we can do is take this line, we can duplicate it, go to edit, duplicate, and we'll hit R on keyboard for rotation. And we can rotate this uh, you know, to other sides of our composition. We'll create some more duplicates here. And now I'm just gonna randomly offset these lines a little bit in time so they don't all come in at the same exact moment. So now we'll have these lines in here coming in like that and that's a cool start here. Before we move on, if you're looking to save hours of time and produce beautiful motion graphics, check out our Motion Graphics Professionals Pack here for After Effects. Browse through over 1400 templates with our previewable extension and within a few clicks of a button, you can add, edit, and export work faster than anyone else on the planet. So if you're looking to save time and make motion graphics extremely easy, you can take a look at any of the packs we have off our website. That link will be in the description below. All right, so the next graphic I wanna take a look at is this spiral here, which is super easy to do. You just need Adobe Illustrator installed. I'm gonna show you how to do this really quick. So in Adobe Illustrator, we're just gonna click on create new 
and you use any size that you want, click create. And what we're gonna do is come here, grab the pen tool, just like in After Effects, and we'll click a point, hold down shift, and let's create a straight line like this. Grab the selection tool here. Let's see, we just have this straight line like so. What we need to do is come over here and find the twirl tool, which is right here. And all we're gonna do is come here to this top anchor point, click and hold, and this will create a swirl path like so. So then all we're gonna do is grab this direct selection tool. You just hit A on your keyboard. We'll grab that bottom point, delete it. We can zoom in here and we'll grab this point as well because it's not a perfect, perfect circle, delete that. And we'll grab this middle point and delete the middle one as well. And actually maybe we'll delete this one too. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this path, just drag, select it. We're going to copy it, all right, Command C or Control C. And then we'll go over back to After Effects. And I'll just, what I'm gonna do is take one of these lines that we've already created. I'm just gonna duplicate it and, you know, put it right here. And all I'm gonna do is go into this content that we already created, go into, say, Shape 1, go to Path 1, and I'm just going to paste that data in there. And then I'm gonna ask my keyboard for scale. I'm gonna scale this up. And then one thing we'll do is we'll bring down the stroke width maybe to like three or so. And you know now we're gonna have this swirl line in here. We can continue to scale this out, um, make this nice and large, and you know adjust that scale width as you see fit. And to our spiral, I just wanna make a few fine adjustments to this. So we'll add a wiggle pass to this. We'll open this up. So what we'll do is we'll set this points down to smooth and maybe really bring down the size maybe down to two and it'll help wiggle it out and then we'll go back to our rough and edges effects this time we'll set this to rough and color we'll select a nice secondary maybe like a blue color here click ok and this time around we'll set our border up to like 45 and our scale up to like 250 and we'll increase the stroke width here to kind of fill this up a little bit more and if you follow our steps you should have a really cool spiral graphic like this so for a very quick number four, I'm gonna show you how you can create this random line here, very simple. So what we're gonna do is we'll take one of the graphics that we've already created, like these lines, we'll duplicate it. We can offset it in time. We'll hit U on keyboard to bring those keyframes and we'll drag out the keyframes to make this animation longer. All we're gonna do is go into our shape layer here and we'll come here to shape one and we'll just delete it. And then we'll grab the pen tool, make sure the shape layer is selected and we're gonna start drawing out a random path like this. And it doesn't have to be perfect by no means. So now just by following those quick settings, you can have a really cool uh, random line in here and that looks cool. All right, so for our last technique, I'm gonna show you how to create this overlay wave transition or whatever you wanna use it for, super easy. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go ahead and create this new composition for this Keep It Simple. We'll make sure the pen tool is selected. We'll set our stroke width up to like 160, it's gonna be quite large. And all we're gonna do is off screen here, click a point and we're gonna create a custom path kind of through the center of our composition like this. You see, I'm kind of angling this and that's fine. And the goal is to make sure that this layer or this point's really below our composition so it's easy to duplicate. All right, so that's my path. As you see, it's a nice little curve. First thing we're gonna do is go to add. We'll add the trim paths to this, of course. And we'll come here, open up trim paths. We'll add a keyframe for end. We'll move that keyframe forward to maybe two, two and a half seconds. And we'll set this end down to 0%. And we'll select both keyframes, F9 on your keyboard, go to the graph editor, and we'll just grab the last keyframe here and we'll drag out that handle all the way across. So you just have a line like this, and that's fine. So then what we'll do is go into our stroke here. We'll set this from a butt cap to a round cap. So you'll see you got that, that looks fine. Uh, and then we're pretty much done here. So then the only thing we have to do here is take this layer, we need to duplicate it, and we just offset it like this randomly. Make sure there's no gaps between the white solids here. And we'll just continue to duplicate them and randomly just place them wherever you like. All right, so now by having all these duplicates in here, you're just gonna have this wave like this. So then what we'll do is go back to our main composition, drag in that new uh, comp that we created. We can put it anywhere we want. We'll offset this in time where we want this to be in our you know timeline. And then what we're gonna do is we'll take this layer, we'll duplicate it, we'll offset it in time. We'll grab our bottom layer, set the track mat to alpha inverted mat. So what's gonna happen with this is that we're gonna have this wave come in here initially and then it's gonna be eaten up at the end as well. So it'll be a quick you know, transition for whatever you want to use it for. So if you follow some of the principles in this tutorial, you should have something similar to this. You can use any techniques however you see fit for your projects. 
So that is our tutorial on creating five different liquid motion graphics. Hope you found this tutorial insightful. Be sure to subscribe for more tutorials like this where we break down many different techniques for like one sort of style. So if you did enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can also hit us up on our Instagram. Uh, that link will be below. We have After Effects content on there as well. And always be creative.